Betty Birch says she is thankful to be alive. He was looking to kill me and my daughter that night. Early Wednesday morning, a dispute between her daughter and her daughter's boyfriend escalated into a nightmare scenario. She was screaming really loud, and when I ran out, she was on fire. Birch witnessed her daughter burning alive. When her motherly instincts kicked in, she says the boyfriend, Esperidion de los Santos, doused her with gasoline. Throwed it right in my face, throwed it on my back, but I grabbed my daughter and snatched her in the restroom and locked the door and throwed it in the shower and me and her, we got in the shower to put our skin out. The fire spread quickly and soon engulfed the entire Marshalltown complex. Police found De Los Santos watching nearby. Dude, that looks terrible and it itches and it hurts real bad. We sat down exclusively with Birch a day after she was released from the hospital. Cause this man switched my life around. He got me looking like a clown right now. My baby too, my baby don't have a face up there. Uh, and she's fighting for her life. Her daughter, Keith Laherne, underwent a lengthy skin grafting procedure this morning at the University of Iowa Burn Treatment Center. Suffering from third degree burns, Birch knows it will be a grueling recovery. But one she's confident her family can get through, so long as De Los Santos remains behind bars. And he don't deserve being free of doing, of doing peoples like this.